What's up, Lashinistas? Welcome to the show. This is the Live Bay Podcast, where we talk about the ever-growing eyelash business. If this is your first time listening to the show. Welcome. This podcast is dedicated to helping you grow as a lash artist and or lash business owner. So whether you work for yourself or someone else, this podcast is for you. Hey guys, this is Shauna and Mike Jones. We are the owners of Live Bay Lash. Our heart is to share with you our uphill battle in the slash industry and to show you what started out of a tiny bedroom in our house, Extremely Broke, has turned into an eight-figure company. We are here to encourage you during your lash journey and to give you guys a real raw version of Mike drinking Starbucks five times a day. Yeah. In today's <laughs> episode, we're going to be talking about <laughs> lash emergency situations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a fresh nitro. My assistant just delivered, and it is awesome. Only because I'm not allowed to drink beer while we're doing the podcast. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd just be hammered. All right, this is what we're going to talk we about today. We should do today. an episode like that where we're we just drink, Oh, shots. yeah. Oh, is that what you're going to do? Yeah, totally. Mom of the year over here. <laughs> we were all big joints. Like yeah. the, it's like the, the Elon, Tesla. Yeah, yeah. The Elon Musk, Joe Rogan interview. We're like, no. <laughs> everybody's like, well, we're not buying their products anymore. <laughs> like, okay, hypocrites. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So before we jump into that, real quick, quick announcement. So the VR classes coming up here in September. We got a class going on September 8th and September 22nd. So cool. So cool. Milwaukee class going on right now as we speak. Uh, if you're still around and you're hearing this, depending on what day of the week it is, you can still take the volume portion. So hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Financing is available. Uh, Make updates. We're going to be doing Houston September 7th, Salt Lake. Uh, September 14th, Lake Tahoe, September 14th, Scottsdale, September 21st. There's actually a strong possibility that Sean and I will be at the Lake Tahoe one. Yeah. We were supposed to be there and we, we go every year in August. Obviously COVID happened. So it got bumped back to September. So we are planning on possibly going to that one too, just because we try and kill two birds with one stone. Sean's grandma and mom live in Reno. My kids get a chance to see them. We get some fresh air. Yeah. And get I love go. Tahoe. It's my favorite place. Yeah. We get to go bear hunting. <laughs> yeah, right. That literally never, has never happened. I don't know why I lied about that. <laughs> I was just like my Tourette's perfect to say random stuff. Uh, <sighs> well, you do get to see some bears up there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. And then also, we are accepting after pay. No. <laughs> uh, please, if you haven't done so yet, check out our online membership program. Sean's going to tell you the perks. Yes. So the online membership is super cool. So you get two free full tutorials per month. I know a lot of people on YouTube want to see like the full length video. So you actually get access to the portal to see that. We do different things like wispy, you know, strip lash, like different stuff. It's really nice to see a full video. You get 20% off products. You get a free gift per month. You get access to Mike and I. Um, we do two lives um, per month. And then you also have access to like reach out and get answers like your questions answered ASAP. So you have like a direct line that you guys can call. Even if you're like in the middle of like a lash appointment and you have questions, um, you have either a lash artist like Alexa in customer service, or you have access to Mike and I will just help you. So if you want to grow your business, like if you're at that stage where you want to like grow your business in whatever stage, you could just be starting. Like this is just awesome. It's 99 a month and you can cancel at any time. Yeah. Boom. Boom, boom. All right. Jumping into the episode. So this one is called Lash Emergency Situations. We're going to talk to you about a, like five different situations. Um, and I'm sure this is super common. Every one of you guys deal with this on a regular basis. So we'll start with the first one. Why do, why was it say, why both eyes? <laughs> I think I wrote oh, that why, right. why you should. Um, oh, thank you. Why Sorry. you should go back and forth. Go back and forth and not just yes. lash one whole eye, finish it, and then go to the next eye. Yes. That's what my note said. <laughs> my Crayola cream. <laughs> Why both eye? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I actually used to lash. Uh, I would do, I mean, clearly I was not trained correctly, but I would do one eye at a time. I always did it because I would love like the before and after photos I would take with it. But I learned when we opened our first salon that it's best to go back and forth. There's a few reasons why you want to go back and forth from eye to eye. You want to make sure that it's even, you know, even from eye to eye. Sometimes it's easier, especially you're not like lashing one eye. It's kind of hard to go from corner, corner, mid, corner. Sometimes you get stickies. So it's really good to go from eye to eye. Um, it, it gives you like a nice base that you can start with and then you can go deeper and denser depending on you know what kind of style you're doing for them also we had an incident at our st rose like location when we first started um yeah, there, yeah we did there was this is another crazy situation but there was um 
one of our lash artists was doing a mega full set. She was doing one eye at a time. And what happened? The client had an emergency. Yeah, the client uh, the client got a call and just she's like they kept calling calling. So she answered and there was like an emergency, so she had to leave. And so one eye was like a full mega set and the other eye was like just nothing, like not even one lash on it. So we she had to leave, like she had to leave. So we were like I was like, "Oh my gosh." She was so irritated because she didn't really realize what was going on until she looked in the mirror and it was like one hooker eye and then like one nothing. And so we had to actually like open the salon back up later to have her come back and and get it fixed. So just in case like anything happens like that, like, you know, the client has to go, you have a nice like balance two eyes that they can leave and they're not going to look like super crazy when they leave. So it's best to bounce from my die. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next one, eyes watering during the whole service. So this could be a lot of factors actually. Yeah. So, I mean, eyes watering, it could just be, you have a sensitive client. Sometimes it's the light. Sometimes um, you have your taping back um, or lifting up their lid with like whatever tape or an iPad and it's back too far. So the glue fumes are actually getting in the eye. Um, some things you just want to do with watery eyes is you can actually do like um, cotton pads on the corner underneath the iPad that will help like suck in the tears. Sometimes you just kind of like not lash them and give them just a couple minutes. You can give them a fan, you can mist, um, help soothe the eye if anything's like burning. So walk, walking through, what's the point of the fanning and the misting? How does that help? So, well, misting that is going to help cure the um and the adhesive but also like if there's any type of stinging or burning and sometimes this happens with like um gel removals when you're doing a removal with the gel removal with the gel remover um the misting actually will just kind of help like soothe and help with like any burning sensation that they're going to experience um and then also like with the fan it's just going to like dry up those tears a little bit um sometimes depending on your adhesive like it it may kind of screw with that if you're doing it for too long um but yeah, you definitely want to do that if their eyes are tearing up. You could just use like, I'll have to have a picture that I'll post of this. But if you just put little um, like cotton rounds or even the lint cotton free pads like underneath the iPad to kind of like soak up and just kind of like let them chill for a couple minutes, that helps too because it's really frustrating. You know, sometimes the iPad's riding up and it's um, irritating their eyes. Sometimes they don't even realize that. So make sure that your iPads are taped down nicely. Nothing's kind of poking. You always want to be transparent. Ask them questions like, hey, is anything hurting? Does anything poke? Does anything sting? That way you can, you know, do the process of elimination and try and figure out what's going on. Yeah. I. You know what's crazy? Like my eyes water really bad. I have super sensitive eyes. When I put lashes on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> puts the lashes on me and spanks me back the corner. uh no like if she uses me in a class for like a demonstration just to show the tape back and tape up or even put ipads on he's a winner I, about iPads it is like torture it's like waterboarding me literally drives me crazy <gasps> oh. so as soon as she puts them back it starts pulling these lashes down I feel like, oh, <laughs> and start watering just tearing like crazy so just know i mean some some clients are going to have sensitive eyes there's nothing you're gonna be able to do like she said with the cotton you know the cotton balls are trying to just Damn them pads. up, the cotton pads just kind of damn them up a little bit, but it's going to be, you know, it's just one of those things that's going to happen. Um, what was I going to say too? Also, with that though, um, it may kind of screw up like your application. You know what I mean? Because you have to think about it. Yeah. Like tears have salt in them, so what's going to happen is your eyes, um, the lashes are kind of going to get crunchy, just like normal. And usually after that, you have to do like a lash bath to just clean them out. Honestly, if it's like mid application, I would just do a lash bath and just get that bad boy out of there. And look for look for the whites too. Like you'll, a lot of times people tape up or down too much. You can actually see the whites of the They'll eyeball. They'll tape the lids back, yeah. And that can dry them out. So you can get sensitive. a dental mirror to kind of like check what's going on because, yeah, the whites of the eyes and then the fumes, that's not fun. Yeah, for sure. Uh, next one, fluttery eyes. We actually did a YouTube video on this, but. I used you. Yeah, used me for that one too. <laughs> and spank me, put me back in the corner again. <laughs> Fluttery eyes. We actually did a YouTube video on this explaining, mm. you know, kind of how to overcome it, but we'll break it down for you guys. Just yeah. So you know. Sometimes it's caffeine. Sometimes it's like someone's getting lashes for the they first time. Eight nitro brews this morning. Yeah. Like him. Um, sometimes it's a light. It's too crazy. Sometimes like with new clients, they've never had extension. So it can be kind of scary and nerve wracking and it just makes their eyes flutter because they're nervous. They don't know what's going on um, with that. It's really good. 
<clears throat> excuse me, that you're walking them through the process, especially if it's like a new client. So that way that will kind of calm their nerves a little bit. Cause I can only imagine if you've never had extensions before and they put iPads on your eyes are closed and you hear like tweezers, you're like, Oh my God, this is it. I'm going to die. She's going to stab me. So be transparent, like let them know what's going on. Sometimes if you put tape over their lids to like kind of assist with it being so shaky, that will help. Um, the penny trick, the penny, you just sanitize a penny or just put a dirty one on. Who cares? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm making sure you're listening. <laughs> sanitize Found a it penny. on the street. Here we go. There's a chain <laughs> shortage. Hope you enjoy. Um, yeah. So you sanitize a penny, put it on their lid, tape it, tape it on the lid. Sometimes, go ahead. This is your favorite part when you talk about the penny, what the copper does. Oh, I don't know. It brings out the, uh, the, the tightwad tight in me. <laughs> Yeah, the penny, the, the cool metal basically. It's kind of like a, in a boxing match where you see between rounds, the guys be getting punched. They use this metal thing. And swell. And swell. The compression helps pull the swelling out and you know so they can see again. The cool like metal like will actually help to relax the eyelid from fluttering. Um, I was going to say this. She did talk about just a second ago about like making sure you're explaining everything to them. There's something to be said about like, okay, lay back. All right, now I'm going to apply the iPad. How's everything feel? Is anything bothering you? All right, next I'm going to put a piece of tape over it. it. Just that gentle kind of reassuring, explaining. Like she said about when it's just kind of quiet and they hear the tweezers and hear stuff going on. And not, you know, they're losing one of their senses. Their eyes are taped up. They can't see. Now all of a sudden, like all they can do is hear. So that reassurement of your voice, talking soft, talking gentle, just explaining the process is is definitely something to help. You know, keep them from fluttering. I had a call this weekend. We were in the middle of a move. Our loan didn't fund in time, so we had to stay in our house another weekend. Long story short, we had to turn our internet back on and our direct TV back on so my kids had TV to watch because we were getting ready to do everything installed that Saturday. And so I called direct TV. We were on hold for an hour and 20 minutes just to get our TV back on. And the lady kept saying, just another moment, sir. We're almost there. And we're just finishing up. Every like like two minutes, she would come back on the line just keep, instead of just leaving me on hold for an hour. She kept coming on saying, hey, we're almost there. We're checking the signal now. Just want to make sure you're still there, sir. How's everything going? I promise we appreciate your time. And like that reassurement kept me from going, hey, what the heck? Where yeah, are you my, my husband would never yell. He never yells. Like He's like, okay, all right. All right, cool. all right, all right. let's stick to the last. Okay? <laughs> Doesn't beat Mike up, Howard. Uh, I know. Also, um, I didn't know that. That was nice. I was going to say, because you, really, you were on that call for a long time. Yeah, she kept reassuring me. Nice. She's like, we're in this together, Mr. Jones, <laughs> whatever country she was calling from. <laughs> Should I do that to you more often? Probably. Okay. Um, All right. Now I'm going to beat your say? ass. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> My eyes are fluttering. Doesn't matter. Now shut the F up. Okay. Just be patient. We're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Real life. Let's do behind the scenes of the Jones house. <laughs> Move over, Chip and Joanne. <laughs> okay, so anyways, what I was going to say is also keep in mind like the music you're listening to. Um, you know, if you're listening to Rage Against the Machine, yeah, probably she's not going to be like chilling out. You know, I'm not saying like listen to Beethoven or anything, but um, I have XM. I pay for XM in all the salons and there's like this chill vibe, but sometimes it goes crazy. Like we're all like on ecstasy at the EDC music festival and it's like a little crazy and the receptionists will be like, have to move like the channel because it's not relaxing. You know, you just have to keep in mind that people are going there. You don't know their situations at home. Sometimes they have like a crazy husband and two kids that just drive them up a wall and they just want to be there in a chair for 30 minutes where everybody just shuts the F up. Not saying that's me. And you just want to listen to like cool music and it just to me chill this out. Morning. I remember I was all anxious. I'm like, hey, keep on praise and worship. Yeah. I need to see something to change my mindset. I'm yeah. very angry, upset right now. And then I got all sensitive and started crying. And then it was over. Then I gave a homeless guy a twenty dollar bill. Yeah, he did. So anyways, <laughs> we're way off topic. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. All right. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, this is a really good one. This is lice and mites. So I know it sounds kind of crazy and kind of scary, but you both know, both have happened. Both have happened, and I'm sure there's crazier things that will continue to happen. But so, first of all, don't be judgmental because you never know the situation. You don't know if you know. I mean, lice. Come on, like when we were growing up, everybody had lice. You know, I I never got lice, but there was in school. You know, if one kid has lice and they're all hanging out, they all get lice. They it's all like get COVID. lice. It's like you know COVID. What I mean? Everybody should, yeah. One person's got COVID and everybody's hanging out. Yeah, so it happens. So with lice, we had a, a client that had lice, and I, f I feel like our lash artist like caught it in her tweezer. 
Dude, that, that was happened? like some Karate Kid Daniel <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. Took her chopsticks, caught the fly. So she like held it under the microscope. She held it too. under the microscope, and we we basically had to bring it back to another lash artist just to verify. And they're like, "Give us a slice." And then we, you know, she was looking at her hair, and there was like she had lice. She so, came from a blow dry bar. She actually came from a blow dry bar, not, not ours. ours. <laughs> this was way before ours was open and they must have used a dirty brush, you know? So when stuff like that happens, like I just told them cause my lash artist was freaking out. She was pregnant at the time. I was like, okay, we've got to switch you with someone. There was another gangster artist who was like, I'll finish her up. Like, I don't care. It she doesn't scare me. <laughs> she was like, she's like, I'll Put take hot over. Sauce on it. <laughs> she was crazy. She, she didn't was, even speak English. She, she was like, they were like Claudia, uh, Claudia. Claudia. She was like, see, she, no, <laughs> No, she wasn't. She was just so cool. She's like, yeah, I'll take over because Georgia was pregnant. I was like, Georgia, get out of there. So anyways, we, you know, we just told her I was like walking Georgia through it. And I was like, just tell her like, hey, girl, you know, I just want to let you know that I'm going to step out of the service. I'm going to have someone else like take over. But I do want to let you know that it looks like you have lice. Um, you know, if you gone to any blow dry bars or have you used anybody's like brush before? And um at that time, we had two recliners in one room, so we made that lash artist and her client leave before we had this conversation because you never want to embarrass anyone. And um, the girl actually got really upset and never came back. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, we've seen um, spiders in the hair. We've yeah, seen we had a girl that had spiders and it got all over our blanket when we had blankets at that time, and she had she had spiders coming out of her hair. And you know, you're just gonna have to stop service. And the best thing you can do is just. Like not make them feel bad, not make them feel bad. Cause you just don't know people's situation and how I do that. So I'm always like, Hey girl, you know, not a big deal. You have a tarantula coming out of your hair. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was like these little, like, I don't even know. Um, you know, I just have to stop service right now. I just want to make sure that you just get it checked out and then come back. I'll finish the service. I'll, you know, we've even offered more discounts or whatever. Give me a refund. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Never come back. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, you just don't know people's situations. So just, you have to, you know, talk like, hey, not a big deal, but I've got to stop the service right now. I'm happy to reschedule when, you know, you get this taken care of. We've had it happen and I'm sure we'll continue to, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, but these are things you'll run into, but don't get freaked out. I know it's easy to freak out if you see spiders coming out of someone's hair now that I'm itching my hair. Um, but this stuff will happen, happens a few times with Quite us. Quite often. Quite often. Uh, last one what to do with you get clients with anxiety. So this can be before the service. It can even be during the service. Mm -hmm. We've had clients have real bad panic attacks. Yeah. What would you say triggers that panic attack? I think it's just the stress. not LC. Well, stress. I mean, Owning your own business. <laughs> talking about the client. Oh, okay. Um, it could be many things. Like there was a girl who just kind of got dizzy and it, the dizziness gave her anxiety when she would go back in the recliner. Yeah, she's like, hey, can you like lash me like standing up? And we're like, uh, no, sorry. Yeah, the thing is, you know, like have Xanax said, on hand. They they lose that sense of sight, so they can't it see can anything. It can be scary. So it can be scary. You know, they can't. Now it's kind of like you know, like you're almost like you're blind, unless you're Savannah. She just opened her eyes right in the middle of it. Oh yeah, Savannah always opens her eyes during Mel too. It's crazy, but yeah, anxiety. You just always want to make sure relaxing music. You're talking to them. You're letting them know what's going on. You always offer them like water if they need water. Um, if they need a minute just to whatever, um, I would always ask too, like, hey, do you think that you're going to be able to like, you know, do this through the whole service? Because you will be here for an hour and a half. Or if it takes four you hours. Yeah, girl, <laughs> you better get your sleeping bag. You're going to be here yeah. for overnight. <laughs> <laughs> is this bad? It's super bad. Freak out. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely just, I think the biggest thing is just communication. Letting them know, hey, you're going to be here for two hours. Like, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I don't want you to have a panic attack. Um, and then just always be accommodating, always talk very soothing don't like you know fluctuate your voice that's always super annoying especially when you have anxiety let them take a moment if they need to go to the bathroom if they need water um yeah and just make sure they're as comfortable as possible sometimes you do have to end services and that's okay you don't want anybody being uncomfortable and you don't want to put someone in a situation where they're going to have a freak out in your chair and it's not going to be a good experience for sure Oh, show. <laughs> you look uh, cute and pink today. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's all we got for you guys today. Hopefully you got some good value from that. As always, if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe. Join the Lash Tea. <laughs> Join the Lash Tea. <laughs> T-E-A. Please make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't done so yet, please refer a friend. Obviously, we grow this thing it's as a movement. movement. Until then, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you.